Well, most of us who have lived in the Valley for some time, they're familiar with the restaurant Duck and Decanter. Even if you've never been, chances are that you've heard of them. After all, they've been here for over 40 years. So joining me now from the Duck and Decanter is Pierce Mettler. He is here to show us the key to their success. We're talking about the food. We're talking about drink. And uh, Pierce, by the way, he is the fourth generation of Duck and Decanter, right? Yes. It, uh, back in 72, my grandparents started this uh, wonderful tradition in the your Valley. Your grandparents or your great-grandparents? Well, my grand -great my great-grandparents were involved. Okay. And uh, my grandparents started in 72. And so it's trickled down ever since. And we are still family owned and operated to this day. Yeah, you know, I, I've seen it along the 51 freeway, and for so long I thought it was a fancy restaurant. And yeah. then someone said, let's meet there and eat. And I'm like, this place is really cool. Yeah, very local, uh, very comfortable. Not, uh, we have some very uh, fancy things in there, but right. definitely not, uh, you know, intimidating type of fancy restaurant. Right. Vibe. Well, let's get started on what we're going to make today and then throughout the show I want to find out some more because I'm fascinated by local businesses, especially when it's been in the valley for so long. Oh, yes. Okay, so you guys are sort of known for sandwiches, soups, salads, drinks. Oh, yeah, all of the above and um, part of what we've created over the years are signature sandwiches and um, downtown, we, along with our 40th birthday, we have some other exciting things going on. Uh, we've expanded hours downtown and we have a new afternooner menu an afternooner menu right okay is and this on your afternoon this or is menu? on our afternooner menu this is our signature bites it's a compilation of different signature sandwiches which are favorites um, of ours and of our customers and so we've kind of put them all together on one tray so you can have the best of the best without the fear of commitment per I love that I need like a little smorgasbord oh yes okay so let's make something here now okay we're gonna make our duckling sandwich duckling and, duckling yes and um, is, is there duck there in is it? duck and it answers uh, one of the more common questions we receive which is does the duck serve duck of course we serve duck. the duck yes. in the canner okay let's get into this I have okay. so many questions so to start, and we're doing this as a pinwheel. This is something that you can do at home this summer if you're having guests abound, and uh, it's a great snack. It's uh, no hot prep, so it's great for the hot summer days. We're gonna have two 12-inch. You use two of them for yes. one sandwich. Well, yes. For this, this is gonna serve a lot of people. Okay. And um, we're gonna start with our whipped cream cheese, and this is gonna be kind of what's gonna be holding everything together here. This is good too, like if you have a lot of kids in your family, oh, you know, absolutely. you just make one thing, cut it, and you're, you're good to go. Mm -hmm. So we're going to get this all on here, and this is kind of going to act as a paste, so to say, for all the next ingredients. Now this looks like horseradish. It's not. That's a cranberry relish. Ooh, yummy. Yeah, and mixed with the duck and the smoked turkey really gets a uh, great flavor going. Now does duck taste like chicken? It doesn't. It tastes like duck. I've never had duck. <laughs> they always say everything tastes like chicken, so... Well, here's a first for you. Don't they? They do. And, you know, they say rattlesnake tastes like chicken. Yeah, I thought everything tastes like chicken, but I guess duck tastes like duck. <laughs> duck does taste like duck, and it's very good. Okay, and so right here in the middle, we're going to spread this over. You know over. the scary part is I was totally serious. Oh, so I was wasn't I. kidding. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> All right, so next we're going to put on our cranberry relish. <laughs> okay, Stephanie. <laughs> it's really funny. <laughs> All right. She's going to get me giggling. We're just going to keep going. Uh, now, do you guys, my guess is, and the answer better be yes, is that you guys use local ingredients as well. We do. We uh, try to utilize local ingredients as best we can. Um, obviously, we can't get everything local, but it's always our first and number one option when it comes to selecting products that we use on a regular basis. Well, I know you're a proud member of Local First. It sure are. Which uh, we all support that, all local businesses just trying to help each other out a little bit. All right, and we've been hosting the Local First Fall Festival for the past seven years, and we're proud to say that uh, because of our involvement and... Uh, I think we're good with that. Oh, sure, yeah. Yeah, let's add some okay. stuff to it. <laughs> and, uh, pretty. Yeah, it's really nice. So next we're going to put the duck on. Uh, as I was saying, the uh, local first festival is moving downtown. We, they've outgrown us, and we are so proud to have been a part of that for the past yeah. seven years. Yeah, I mean, it's always been in your parking lot. And Okay, I'm, I, I've never had duck. Try some. I'm sort of afraid. That's very good. And you, oh, it's smoked. It is. It's a smoked duck afraid. breast. 40. 
Okay. Hmm. And let's I, see here. I'm trying to figure out the flavor, but it has a good smoky flavor because how you, obviously you cook it. And also we've got the smoked turkey. Oh, oh yum. Mm -hmm. And then we have some mixed greens. Those are mixed greens with spicy radish sprouts. And it gives it great crunch, great flavor. And with all these combined, it's basically, um, I mean, just a few days ago was our six month marker till Thanksgiving. And oh, so this is a little teaser, huh? It is. It's like Thanksgiving with everybody. All right, well, let's have you roll this up because we're just about out of time for this okay. segment. That's sort of what I'm waiting for is I want to see how you do this. All right. Well, I'll tell you what. Pierce is going to go ahead and roll this baby up, and then we're going to slice it. And uh, what are we going to do when we come back? What do you have for us? Uh, we're going to be doing some beer and wine cocktails, which are great for the summer season. A really good time uh, in the valley to keep cool without... Um, Overconsumption, I guess. All right, Keep perfect. Nice. All right, a local business. We're talking about them today and with them and learning how to make some really yummy stuff. And uh, Stephanie will be back. And just so you know, it did taste like duck.